Good morning everyone, how are you guys? For me it's the start of the new week, today is Monday, for you probably it's gonna be Wednesday when you're watching this, but I hope you all had a nice weekend and I'm trying to upload the videos every second day if it's possible. Today is a busy day ahead of us because I want to show you my other room. This is our living room where we are spending most of our time, but the other one I dedicated just specifically for myself, for the vlogging as well, so it's gonna be very pretty, a little bit more feminine as well. I, I love different styles, so I'm trying to mix them all of it kind of as much as I can through the house, keep some consistency if I can, but also we have to open my new coffee table together and assemble it together. So it's going to be a busy day between you and me, we're going to have to have a lot of hard work to do. We need a cup of tea as well with that, I think, and a little healthy snack, but um, I think I might be putting tan on today and I might just show you a few things that I am doing when I'm applying tan. And my favorite tan as well. I think I'll tell you my secret today. What do you think? It's worth it. Did you like my wedding shoes? What do you think about them? Did I lose my mind? I probably did. But I, I just could not resist. And I'm, I am so happy. And I'm still happy. They're beside my bed at the moment. I'm just look at, wake up to them every single morning. <laughs> so let's go to the room. And let me show you and tell you a little bit more detail about that room. Now we are officially in it. You have seen that room already on my, in my previous videos, just parts of it, but I'm gonna show you more in the detail today. Maybe we're just gonna start and work our way around and wall by wall. I'm gonna to explain to you what's happening as well. So we have a window on the left-hand side, as you can see, and over here, I'm just trying to collect a few kind of favorite items that probably are going to be over fireplace or maybe just like a cabinet but I want to tell you a little bit more about this beautiful paneling um, that we've done on the wall so me and Colm we did it actually ourselves I've chose the panels and this is a piece actually that's what it is so just a piece of kind of wood and as you can see there's a two different types of it so this one is kind of a little bit more thicker and this one is more narrow and there's a two parts of that paneling on the wall it's actually amazing and it's it's, I cannot believe it how much style this give to a room. So for the moment we have that on over here and over there only, but eventually there will be more paneling on this wall and a massive, massive beautiful mirror, maybe some um, pictures on each side. I was hoping to get actually more like a beautiful shelving stylish unit over here and of course there will be a curtains on each side of the window. but. I, I don't know what to do because I personally I don't want to destroy this beautiful paneling that already have been done by Colm. Um, all we did as well, so the paneling that we made, of course, it was plain wood and then I painted it over with, at the same time when I was painting walls, I was painting paneling as well. It's a very, very good paint from Color Trend and it's by their own brand and I absolutely love, love, love that paint. It's such a luxury paint when you look at it. It's a semi-matte finish, so um, there's no really gloss and it's just, I think it's just beautiful and reflects light very well. So this is going to be our fireplace and we have a situation recently. A bird got in through a chimney, which is very unusual because our chimney is really wired up and covered. It's still squeezed in, so we have to dismantle everything and now it's just isolation at the moment for the, over there, as you can see. So it looks awful, but... Um, for the moment we cannot justify to buy a fireplace and the one that i really like of course it was one of the most expensive ones that i chose in a shop i seems to have a knack for it unfortunately um so we're not going to buy any paneling at the moment just in case if you're wondering all those beautiful accessories as well i just collect them down the line um this is from poland we bought it in one of the I can't remember the name of the store but we brought that from poland these two i think it's meadow and burn and the little gadget, I think that was TK Maxx maybe or next. I can't remember exactly. Lilies, I bought a lilies recently because uh, I bought them in a pot because I want to plant them in the garden and they're supposed to be white. As you can see, they are not white. <laughs> okay, moving on here to this wall before I move on to chairs as well. So more paneling over here and the decoration as you can see, I actually made it myself. So what it is, this is just beautiful, more like a, a holder, a bowl, a fruit bowl. And then all of those things inside, I stick them in. They are actually Christmas decorations. And 
for the time of being, I didn't know what to do with them. I thought they looked amazing. It's more kind of pewtery grey colour that works fantastically with our beautiful feature wall. It's just a kind of little element of details instead of putting pictures over there. I thought it was really, really interesting and really nice. And I'm absolutely delighted with myself that I was able to create something like that. Look at those little decorations. So there's two different types. This one is different and this curly one is different as well. So I stick them in into that decor decorative um, bowl and it just lo looks so well together. I think it's, I'm very proud of myself to be honest with my DIY. So this wall is my favorite <laughs> wall in the whole house I think at the moment. Please excuse my lights, they're just only lights from Ikea. Again they need to be changed but for the time of being they just actually serve their purpose. So this beautiful wall as you can see is actually is not a real marble and it's made from three different panels so there's a, that's a one two and three and just a nearly kind of more than a half panel over here it's it's the lengthwise from the floor to the ceiling it has to be cut a little bit on the bottom but that's what I want. I want a big effect that it looks like a one piece of marble. Um, we bought that in a Thai style in Dublin. I'm going to try to leave all the links below, maybe the brand as well, just in case if you're looking for something like that. It's not a heavy tile. It actually was very fine, but it's very fiddly and quite difficult to put on. So you really need someone who is very confident to do it for you. Cheers. My favorite and most amazing beautiful chairs. They were actually custom made for us, including a cushion. We have a look at the cushion in a minute, but I just want to show you them a little bit more. They off-white kind of ivory color and I chose the fabric with with the designer. Um, designer, um, she's actually interior designer. We chose the fabric together because I actually explained it to her, I showed her the wall that I have and what kind of I'm looking for and of course this one was the most expensive style because of all the buttons and details on the side but I could not be happier. I want something in our home from now on, anything that we're buying or most of the things that we're buying, of course most of the things um, I want them to be loved and I want them last forever. So this is the plan for this chair and we got two of them as she suggested a good idea is to get two because if you get one and you want to get a second one after it might be quite difficult to match the fabric correctly but if you wish I can give you I definitely got the link below the website where we got them from and also if I'm able I just try to link the fabric if you do like the fabric yourself so it's more kind of like a linen finished fabric but it's absolutely stunning and beautiful chairs. I could not be happier with them. It's quite hard to just to choose the shape of your chair and then match the fabric and kind of hope for the best, but they could not be better than that. Like they're just absolutely amazing. We chose those cushions, uh, fabric for that cushion as well with the black trim because I want to add a little bit of black in this room as well. So the legs on the chair are nearly black very dark brown and the cushion has a trim but also there is if you could see closer there is a few colors in that fabric so the little, there's a little bit of that champagne kind of gold black and also a little bit of ivory and that cushion just works looks so well with my decorations and and the walls so it's all kind of come together for the curtains i'm definitely going to choose something close to champagne or between ivory and champagne kind of color and for the floor for the moment we have they nine years old already those tiles and they were actually the largest size you could get i cannot believe now you can get this size of the tiles if you wish for the floor or for the wall um so i would like to change them but i, I was thinking that the best idea for this room now to get probably same kind of like a off-white creamy color velvet beautiful sheen velvet carpet so fireplace also i have sewed beautiful fireplace that is made from limestone and it's very close to color of the chair so it will go here eventually but again down the line is going to just take a while and i cannot wait to make this wall as well with a huge mirror when i can show you my outfits as well and some other decorations i need to change 
all the fitting as well, uh, plugs and switches. And of course, I need new lights for this room. So yeah, that, that's all for the moment. But I have a beautiful coffee table that I cannot wait to put it together with you. I hope you're going to like it. For the moment, I think it's going to work well in this room and, the fit, and will fit its purpose. Is that how it is saying? I, I think it's correct English, is it? I am so sorry about English. I'm trying to work on it all the time. It's been so many years and I'm still, I don't have a perfect English. Oh well. We'll see. So let's put a coffee table together. I'm going to make a cup of tea and bring the snack with me, my tools, and let's get working. These ones are my favorite snacks at the moment, healthy snacks, and I'm trying not to eat any chocolate, any goodies, and there's so many versions of them. Um, they're called Naked, you can get them in Tesco, I'm sure plenty healthy stores have them also in stock. You can get a strawberry flavors, banoffee pie, carrot cakes, lemon, salted caramel, chocolate orange, there's such a variety of them. And all it is just pure nuts and fruits. There's nothing else added to them. So dates, walnuts, raisins, almonds, let's say this one have a cashew, carrots and cinnamon. They're absolutely delicious and do they actually taste a little bit like a banoffee pie or salted caramel or carrot cake. I absolutely love them and they're great. There's not that many calories in them. I think there is only, how many there is? I think only 129 calories per bar or something like that, but they're just very, very good. So actually I'm just chewing away usually a one per day through the whole day. And I think I'm going to take the carrot cake with me to the room so we can open now our mysterious coffee table together. Now, we definitely need a cup of tea with this because this looks like a big task. Mm. 
one part done. I think I'm just going to leave it on something soft, just in case it gets scratched or anything. So this is, um, this part I believe is the top of the table, which is Assemble this first, I think, and then we look after the mirrors. What do you think guys? Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's absolutely lovely. The size of it as well is just unbelievable. I hope you can see it as well, but it's such a such a good size. Look at the size of it. Let's put it test it for our cup of tea now. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna show you. Once we're done, I'm going to show you more in details as well. I'm going to bring the camera closer. So I'm going to make another table now as well, and then we have a look at it together. Now this is a big moment because I need to put that on the bottom. Bring the camera closer and we can have a look a little bit more in detail at those things. And here we are, our finished product. <laughs> I hope you like those two tables. I'm absolutely in love with them. And they were 
such a great value for the money that I paid for it. I'm going to leave the link down below if you consider to buy it yourself. My only thing that I'm not happy about, which is just a kind of minor thing, is the color of the glass. If you could see probably on the camera, there's a little bit of kind of green shade in the mirror. That's the only thing that bothers me, but it's not a big deal at all because in the future I can change that top, the glass, into clear glass or maybe different color mirror as well. They were just pure clear and kind of match more our wall. I think it's a great idea as well if you really want to. You could probably buy a marble top or something like a marble for it uh, or you can put a wood as well. It's really versatile but I think it's very 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 pretty. I don't have many gadgets that I can style that table with yet but it's all, all to come in the future. Maybe um, for the color of the room I was concerned when I was buying it that this is more gold and this is more champagne gold. That's kind of the color scheme that I'm going, but at the same time, maybe, do you know what, it's just a nice kind of accent to just bring, introduce just another color to it, not only champagne gold. But I, so far, so good. I'm really, really happy with it. I feel that there is, um, it's a quite strong table. It comments on the website where that is actually is not, but personally, I think it's strong enough. Of course, you would not sit down on it, but you can easily put any flowers. These two actually decorations those two leaves, they're actually quite heavy and there's no problem as well with the table, they stay on it as any other thing. So I think I'm really, really, really happy with the result of it and I, for the price, to get a two tables that you can separate or put together, I think it's fantastic. It's a very, very good price, great value and it's something that will suit, I'd say, many, many houses. So I'm really, really happy and I hope you like it too. So this one has only one mirror, just to show you a little bit closer view. And this one have two mirrors, it's slightly smaller. It's very, very decent size um, for the size of the table as well. So good for the guests, good for decorations. I would say it'll be fantastic for Instagram pictures as well, if you want to place anything on them and even my bridal shoes. <laughs> I think it's just going to be very, very good uh, feature for anything else. I'm really, really happy with it. So let's talk. Let's talk about tan days this evening. I in my cozy pyjama for the reason as well that I need to tell you. But let's start why and how to tan and what to do before you start tanning. Then I'm going to show you my favorite tan for my body and also for my face and what I'm using before, what kind of products. But starting from Exfoliation. I know a lot of, of you guys love exfoliating and it's been advised exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate before you apply in tan. But for someone like me who has very dry skin, exfoliation first of all irritate my skin, mechanical exfoliation we're talking about here. Um, irritate my skin is also make it more flecky and more dry and I understand that a tan sticks to it better. But for my skin, even with this amazing moisturizing tan that I'm using, it's still too much, too harsh. So for the last while, it would be now, I would say, about six months since I'm not using mechanical exfoliation whatsoever and I'm so happy because I do not have a skin irritation anymore. I do suffer uh, from eczema occasionally as well on my hands and on my body, but surprisingly I've managed to keep it under control the first time in years without actually scrubbing the skin. I think my secret is not to use mechanical exfolia exfoliation. But what I use instead, one of them is show, you saw in the review, DCL, it's a vitamin C uh, body lotion. So this contains lactic acid and help exfoliate your skin every single day. Therefore, when you apply in tan, and you're using this product after every single day, you're never gonna end up with a kind of this strong, very thick layer of tan that it's very, very hard to take it off. I've used before as well, I've lost the name, but <laughs> it's actually empty and I always get the value from my products, so I cut the bottles in half, but it's Paula's, Paula's Choice, 10%, uh, I think it's lactic acid exfoliators, when it's a body balm that you use in every single day. So all you have to do, just apply it on your skin and leave it in like any other body balm and just 
naturally with this lactic acid which is called exfoliator skin and this is my new product that I'm trying to replace Paul's just for the moment I just want to try something else something more anti-aging um, refreshing nourishing so I'm testing this product you have to remember that they never smell as good as any other nourishing body balm is because lactic acid and I think glycolic acid if I'm saying this right they don't smell nice and once they're in a product the product rarely smells this gently or beautifully it's quite strong intense smell for maybe five or ten minutes but it's so worth it if you have sensitive skin this is tip for you day tip of the day <laughs> You don't have to mechanically exfoliate your skin. This is your body balm and also exfoliator. So that's what I'm using the night before tanning. I'm using one of those balms. In the morning of the day of tanning, I am applying just a regular body balm. I prefer more kind of water-based body balms than greasy, sticky body balms for the reason if you reason um, if you're planning to tan, for the reason that I feel a tan does not spread properly on them and, and definitely don't soak it into your skin. But any light moisturizer, more kind of watery base, is absolutely fantastic on dry skin to use it in the morning if you're planning to tan that evening. I've noticed that even heavy la layer of body creams, body balms, I'm applying into my hands, knees, elbows and my feet just before I tan and I've always end up with this beautiful kind of even tan results but there is also a technique that I'm using that I want to show you how to avoid this kind of heavy yellowy hands um, so that's about exfoliation night before of course you can shave as well night before but I would suggest if you like mechanical um, exfoliation please do it night before and moisturize your skin in the morning it's not over dry especially if you're using mousse tanning products I used to be a big fan of most tanning products, now I'm kind of stopped and I move on to more creamy consistency. And that will bring me to my favorite tan for the body is Bondi Sands. And it's an Australian tan and I'm using a dark self-tanning lotion. I find it very, very moisturizing when I'm applying it. Of course, there's a lovely, beautiful scent when you're applying it after a couple of hours. It smells like a regular tan. But I'm always applying it during the day. I prefer during the day during the night. And I'm just going to tell you as well for a couple of reasons why. But back to the lotion. I absolutely love everything about this product. I have to say this is the first tan that was absolutely worth spending money. Um, for the reason, first of all, you get the color guide. So it's darker color that will wash off after when you, when you decide to take off your tan. You can apply it only for just one hour if you wish, up to six hours, there's no need to leave it for longer. Then it glides beautifully on your skin like a beautiful nourishing lotion. It feels moisturizing on the skin and washed off perfectly. Even if I wasn't using my lactic acid exfoliant, I noticed this is washed off beautifully over the week. Even if you apply a second layer, it's still washed off so well and I never have to scrub off this tan. I believe lotions that are always better than mousse. Mousse, as I mentioned, for my dry skin is too dry and soak in too quickly. With this one, you just have that few minutes of applying before it just soaks into your skin. And it never leaves any kind of heavy stickiness after. There's just lovely kind of like a moisturizer feeling after. I get a beautiful, lovely, natural color from this tan every single time and I never get any streaks. It's so evenly on my skin, it's unbelievable. It's all positive. Everything that you're looking in a tan, this is my favorite. And I understand everyone has their favorite tan, but I really moved on from a lot of tan that I've used before. And this is my favorite, favorite brand, favorite product, and I'm gonna stick with it. I don't think I'm gonna try anything else for the moment anyway. Love the color. I need a color guide. I need a darker shade in the tan. I need to see what I'm doing. I don't like clear or white tan because I always end up with the streaks. I'm not a big fan of daily gradual graduated tan. I prefer to do it once or twice a week, be done with it over six hours 
and then have a lovely time for the rest of the week instead of applying something every single day. And I've noticed a gradual tan with me. I've always get lots of stains on the knees and maybe on the elbow and a little bit on my feet, one of my bones on the foot. I, you can see in some of the pictures, I just have a discoloration. That's usually from a daily tan because I can't see what I'm doing again and I probably just leave a little bit of extra on it. This is the part where I have the driest skin also. This is the answer for me, Bombay Sands. I'm absolutely in love with this sun. For the face, I've never tried this product for a face. I feel it's a little bit too dark and probably too strong. I do not tan my face often, but if I do, I've got a lovely Lavira, I think, again, self-tanning lotion. And it's more natural product than, of course, the other one. Um, and it just, again, it's like a moisturizing, lovely, beautiful cream on your face than tan. Um, there's no color guard guide in this one, but it's okay, it's a small area of my face, <laughs> small enough, so it's enough, I don't need a color guide, and I prefer that even because I really don't want to go with like really, really dark face like for six hours around the house, so I prefer this one, soaks in beautiful, beautifully, never leave any streaks as well, and didn't block my pores, I didn't have any breakout from that, so it's one of my favorite products, but I find that it's not strong enough for my body. That's why I'm using it for my face and it's absolutely perfect for what I'm looking for. Very, very moisturizing. <clears throat> now, my, one of my tips as well is, that's why I'm wearing pyjama. Um, before I'm going to apply tan, I prefer to wear tan during the day and then wash it off in the evening. I'm always wearing um, very loose clothes. I try not to wear socks. Um, not to wear any bra if it's possible because I notice if you're wearing tight jeans and then straight away when you take it off I've always had the like marks down the line of my leg and I've noticed before when I apply tan over marks like that I end up with the marks so I'm always wearing loose clothes about one hour two hours before I start tanning until all the marks are gone so I'm taking all the jewelry all the watches rings as well about two hours before and wearing very loose clothing over underwear no socks as well so you don't get this kind of like an a mark around your ankle and if I do wear socks like I have now I'm going to show you my cozy sockies so they're nice and fluffy cozy sockies from Primark pyjama that I'm wearing as well it's a couple years old but I'm loving it I think it's very very glamour and suit this room what else we have so how I am applying Oh yes, after putting tan on, of course, I'm wearing loose clothes as well for the time of being as much as I can. So I put my ugly, ugly, ugly offer clothes. You don't really want to look at them. Excuse me, there's some indigestion going on there. <laughs> um, the obvious, the loosest clothes that I have in the house. I actually want to buy something maybe dark colors so I can wear it over and still look a little bit presentable, but it won't get stained. Um, if you want to remove a tan, I've tried a few removal re products that remove the tan and one of them was Coco Brown Fresh Start Self Tan Eraser. I used that a few times, you have to apply it for about 5 minutes and it's a very very strong smell but it's, it's worth it. If you, I think it's only up to 5 minutes that you need to apply. Let me have a look, show sure, what I leave it for at least 5 minutes, yes that's all you need to do. And it kind of melts away your tan, but you still have to scrub it off a little bit. But what I use instead of harsh again gloves, if there's need for it. With this tan, I don't need this product whatsoever. But if, if you let's say you're looking for something to take off your old tan, then I'm using old cotton sock. This product for five minutes, I'm going into the bath, soak myself in, and I use the old cotton socks, and it just works wonders and takes off everything very, very well. What else we need? So for the tanning, to I'm gonna take you to the bathroom maybe, and I'm just gonna show you. I don't want to tan go near this room, to be honest, with those beautiful chairs and everything being so clean. So I'm gonna show you in the bathroom how I'm applying maybe on one of my arms, just to give you an idea how to not just stain your hands as much, and um, just to make them nice and even as well. So just gradually finished around your wrist. Um. What I always use is my favorite product Product as a favorite tanning mitt would be a velvet mitt. Any velvet mitt, not necessarily with the tongue as well. If it's possible, I actually need to get the new one and I have to get one for my back because I kind of got comfortable. If you want to, I'm going to link below 
one of my, or just even over here somewhere in the corner, one of my videos when I was just uh, creating homemade back tannin that you can do it within two seconds in your own home. But now I'm just getting a little bit more comfortable, so I'm going to buy a proper kind of back tannin. Because before when I created that video, there was no such a thing as a back tanning tool. So you're welcome guys, I invent something and then someone improved it and now we have a proper tanning tools for your back. <laughs> I'd say it was pioneer in that. Velvet mint, it's my favorite and a dark in the black color as well for the reason you cannot see a tan on it. I hate washing it and I hate looking at them kind of really stained. I also use always gloves. So I'm always put a gloves on no matter what because that's how you're going to avoid have your hands stained. I'm putting gloves on and then I'm putting over, it does doesn't want to fit at the moment, and then I'm putting over tanning mitt and that's how I avoid have always stained hands. I really don't like this part of my hand to be stained, any part of my hand. So if you're ready, I think that's all I have. If I remember anything, I'm going to just give you more tips and tricks in the bathroom if I remember there's something else that I need to tell you. So if you're ready, let's go to the bathroom and apply tan on one of my arms. So before we start tanning, I just put a bikini on so there won't be any kind of sticking and boob situation here. I'm, going to, I'm only going to apply with you on one of my arms. I just want to show you how to apply around your hand and also you can just apply it to your feet the same way around your feet when you apply tan to your legs. You can use exactly the same method. I just, I don't have any other body balm at the moment. So I'm going to use this one dry skin recovery cream on my hands, my elbows and my feet. So I already use on my hands as well and I'm happy they kind of feel nice and moist. I'm also a, put on a glove. I would suggest to get gloves that fit size of your hand. This one is actually too big so sometimes it's sliding away. And also these ones are the one without the powder inside which is very very important. Do not use the one with the powder inside. Now I'm going to put a tiny mint over my glove and I'm not going to be tying my face with you guys because it's just a tiny face. It's very very simple and I usually use a kind of like a cotton pad when I'm applying tan so I want to stain my hands again. It's all about staying hands and feet. Now a little bit of a tan about this hand so it's, it's nice and kind of like a dark color and just a kind of good amount of the product I'm applying to a glove and then I'm just kind of squash it over so it's nice and distribute around. If you really need more, we apply more. But starting off, I'm going to apply very, very, very quickly all over my arm altogether, but I'm going to avoid my hands. I'm not going to apply on my hands. I feel I might need a little bit more because this is my first coat. Usually when you're already after, um, I'm always start, start tanning from my legs, feet up. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do one arm. So let's do it quickly and start, I hope you can see what I'm doing, start applying over my arm. Now if you feel it's not enough, it's okay, apply first layer and then we can apply a little bit more. I feel like I didn't just took enough of the product, so I'm going to try again, take a little bit more this time. And as you can see, I am not applying whatsoever on my hands. So I'm trying to stay a little bit away from my hand for the moment. We're going to go back to it in a minute. I just want to make sure that I have over here. I always used to, not anymore, I used to miss a piece somewhere here before, not anymore. Now the problem is with the velvet tablet with the tongue that it might just leave a marks as well which I don't really like and for that reason I have to get the one without it. So now if you're happy with the application, just try to take the mirror on your arm. I believe this is the last bit that I usually do and I hope you will as well. So my arms is the really last bit normally when I'm tanning. So now I have nearly nothing left on my gloves and now I'm moving on gently into my hands. So I would just rub it in very, very gently around. 
and believe me, you don't need more. So it's very gentle strokes. I barely touch my hand. And also I'm avoiding these parts, my knuckles and my, my fingers until the very last. So that's all you have to do, just tiny gentle strokes without excessive rubbing like you do on your body. And that's your secret, how not to get a stained hands. Now gently I'm going to put a little bit between my fingers, gently and all over my fingers as well. This is all very, very delicate and very gentle and that's how you are going to get a tan hands but they're not going to be very, very streaky or very dark and looking very unnatural because that's what you don't want. And then you're waiting for days for, and days for this to come off. So now I did make sure that I have no tan on the inside because I, I use glove and I'm going to use glove also on this hand when I start tanning this arm, which we can do it together if you wish. And in that way as well, I'm not going near my nails so my nails don't get stained. Now, after five minutes or 10 minutes when you see the color getting darker on your hands and you cannot get concerned, I apply more moisturizer as well, only to my hands if I feel, oh, I think I overdose. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just, I'm gonna apply to my other arm as well, just to make sure that it's all even, because I'm trying to focus on, on the camera here on my phone screen as well, just make sure that I can see everything correctly. And yeah, we can move on. So you can see a little bit of color difference. I love that darkness in the tan, that straight away give you a guide. You know where you did apply, where you did not apply. So it's very, very good. Now, I'm gonna continue for the rest of my body. And I'm gonna leave it for about six hours before I just go to bed. I'm just gonna wash it off and have a nice and beautiful tanning, a beautiful glowing skin tomorrow. Also, when you're taking off your tan, if you can, do apply moisturizer. I run out of my favorite moisturizers at the moment, but as, I, as, as you could see, I'm using lactic acid as well. I'm gonna leave that for tonight because I do not want straight away tan to be kind of exfoliated with the acid. So I'm gonna to try to look for some other moisturizers that I have home, is there something that I can apply just for overnight so I wake up with the beautiful and glowing skin. Yeah, I think that's it. That's, that's my tips and tricks. Um, for a tan and nice kind of tan hands without have them too orangey, too dark. And this color is so beautiful. I promise you guys, you're gonna wake up with a beautiful tan. It looks more very, very natural tan. It's not orangey. I never apply also two layers. I always apply only one layer. And that's the secret as well, I think, that you not build up too heavy tan that it's very hard to take it off. You're probably better off to apply this today and over the next two days if you want to build up for the weekend, instead of applying two coats night before as well and just end up with this very, very orangey, dark, kind of like nearly a dirty looking skin. And I never ever go out with wearing tan because I feel it just smells on my skin any time. And I don't like personally that smell. I don't like smell tan on someone else as well. I'm very particular about it, so I prefer to wash it off and then face the world. <sighs> I'm gonna keep going and just tan the rest of my body without you, sorry guys. Thank you so much for watching guys today. I hope you like my video today. Please subscribe, it will mean the world to me as well. Keep your thumbs up and comment. What do you think about all those tips and tricks? Did you like my tan? Tagging products, do you like my new table, coffee tables as well and so on. Loads of hugs, loads of love and I see you in my next vlog.